Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove Yo. Alright, so welcome back to another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I am Lord Shuex. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, got a lot of uh, products on there, also content that I've created. And should check it out because it's pretty good stuff so bear with me real quick y'all because i had rushed had got up and rushed to make this stream because i received some information that i'm supposed to share with y'all and uh nothing personal if you aren't a super uh connected spiritual person to Connected to your purpose and uh, healing yourself and uh, creating your spiritual system. You are not excluded from this conversation, but as far as following what I'm going to speak about in this stream, and this is going to be a real quick stream. I'm not going to be on here for a long time. I just had to get this message out to the people who are a part of the transition that we're going through uh, spiritually and as uh, humans as well. So you're not excluded from this conversation, but if you are interested in what I have to speak about, stick around. It's pretty uh, potent information I received. And uh, normally I don't stream on Sunday. So obviously I felt like I needed to speak on this and I kind of spoke on it yesterday, uh, more of a stream of conscious type deal. But yeah, I as as you can see, I didn't even realize what the fuck I was even saying or how it even uh, the cohesion of what I was talking about in regards to my personal path, as well as the personal path of healers and light workers and star seeds and. Uh, just people who are helping to raise the the hum, raise humanity into a higher dimensional form of thinking and just forms in general. And by this, I mean a new spiritual system that will help us ascend faster so that as we go through our personal ascension as light workers, healers, star seeds and such, um, us. People seeing us go through this ascension process will awaken their DNA, will awaken uh, their chakras to our new system of chakras and move us into a higher dimension um, as a collective. 
So basically, I'm gonna try my best to I'm gonna try my best to uh, speak about this. But like I said, it's gonna be a quick stream. I just had to get this information out. So the name of this stream today is the 144,000 message. Basically, uh, you see a lot of people on Earth, but there's only a small number of actual people on Earth that is carrying out the duties of. I'm going to keep it simple. We'll just say God. But if y'all really knew who God was, y'all probably won't. Y'all y'all probably won't want to call this person God. So, and that should tell you right there, person. So, 144,000 message. Uh, the significance of this number is there's 144,000 light workers, healers, star seeds that are, that is raising the consciousness of this planet. So, the planet is a living being. And I'm pretty sure I explained in previous streams that I've done that the planet itself, its consciousness is raising into a higher dimension. And the people who are aligned with the energy of the planet or who are taking steps, and I'm gonna be real with you. If you're a light worker, star seed healer, you automatically are being forced into this alignment, AKA the 144,000. So being that you are a individual that is a part of this great transition, you incarnated back to be a part of this ascension so you automatically get in the update so out of nowhere you just like damn i feel sad as fuck i feel like pure shit i want to i want to be gone from this planet now type feelings if if you have been going through this type of feeling but you haven't gone to the point where you're like man i'm about to kill myself which i don't encourage anybody to commit suicide it doesn't matter how bad it gets you chose to be here. You chose to come back to this planet. So raising your raising your uh, consciousness to that and becoming aware of these triggers and feelings deep within that are coming out is a reason for that. And this is why. Now, I'm looking out my window right now and the sun is out, but also the entire moon is out. It's a full moon. I'm looking dead at it as I'm, you know, giving this, uh, giving me all this information. But this is something that is is literally a physical manifestation of this this lecture that I'm giving y'all. If I can see the sun and the moon at the same time, that's divine masculine, divine feminine energy in pure balance. I'm literally I'm literally witnessing it and I'm telling y'all about it. Now, what does this mean? For the 144,000, this means that the reason that we're going through this shit right now, getting forced out of these old ways of living. We we don't have to live in the original way of of how things used to be because we are creating that new uh paradigm. Now, what I mean by this in simpler terms is we used to have to work really hard. We used to have to instead of using our our mind, we used our bodies. And this is the snake code. This is the 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 code that we're used to following as people, as beings, everything that we're doing uh, spiritually has been based on a code of kundalini energy. And to access this energy, you had to do certain things. But now we're moving into a, uh, a form of balance. And what that means is as we move into this new, this new form of doing things, instead of us having to instead of us having to move and um do hard labor and uh basically exchange our our uh time for having to exchange our time for financial means that those times for us the 144,000 is ending now it's not going to seem like that for everybody else and the reason that is, is because it's just like when you take on an update into a computer. You notice that sometimes there's a bunch of updates back to back. Like you might have updated your computer and then Microsoft send you another update like a week later. The reason for that is because you don't want to keep giving huge updates to a computer because that's going to fuck the computer up, especially if it's used to doing shit a certain type of way for a certain amount of time. Your computer may have been in a particular update for a year, for two years. 
and out of nowhere, this huge update comes, and that shit will have your computer going through, uh, like, overload. It'll, it'll push the processor of your computer. Same thing with a person. If the, if the universe is sending you these codes, and it's badgering you with all this information, eventually, your processor's gonna overheat, and you're gonna be useless. So, just as a computer, uh, the Microsoft sends you little updates, you know, in pieces so that your computer can walk into this new, this new way of processing information. The same thing with you. You're processing new information because you're receiving codes, light codes and moon codes, uh, lights from the moon. You're receiving all these codes, but they're sending a new information because remember, the sun, the moon, the earth, all the planets are working together. They're they're a team because they're working on our they're working on our energetic bodies and we're working on their energetic bodies. So as we pass information, it gives them like a like a like an update from us, letting them know, okay, so humanity's doing this now. The people who are the most in tune with the energy signatures that we're sending to them okay, we see that they're moving up into this. So we need to send a, a responding code back to that so that they can ascend and then they can start to receive the codes we're sending them easier. So now everybody who is a part of this 144,000 is probably feeling like shit, fucking having headaches, fucking getting swords on their body, fucking... Uh, mucus coming out like a motherfucker, blood, uh, receiving messages to clean their blood, receiving messages to uh, do fast, receiving messages to do uh, castor oil packs on their major organs, removing certain shit, and uh, taking oil of oregano to uh, kill the bacteria in their body that's forming because of this shit. Now, the reason this is happening is because the 144,000 are moving into a a new chakra system. So the way that we used to uh, receive information and the way that the vortices on our body, aka the Taurus fields, the way that we're aligning with the energy of the planet is different now. See, you used to have to do it a certain type of way before, unknowingly, because, well, I say this: If you a healer, a star seed, a uh, crystal child, indigo child, whatever, rainbow child, the way that you uh, uh, attach to this energy, or the way that you used to receive information from these these energetic signatures, was a different type of way. It was it was harder because at certain points in time, people had to really disassociate themselves with the with the energies that kept them from aligning with the energy of source. So this shit happening now is bringing us into um, basically what I will call the true heart. People are aligning with the true heart. People are aligning with Sirius. People are aligning with the true time of the universe. And right now, going through this, this shift is forcing us to have to take care of our bodies more, have to work out more because I, I read a funny message uh, the other day on social media talking about uh, primordial men saying, if you're a primordial man, you should be working out every day. Did you forget that we're going through a war? <laughs> but the thing is, the war that we seem to be going through is a war within self. So that does make sense. If we're working out, we're keeping ourselves strong. We're keeping our mind strong because working out releases chemicals within our body that makes us, that puts us in a state of happiness, that puts us in a state of awareness. So, I have a few recommendations because your body is literally clearing out old timelines, uh, old versions of self, uh, any type of dis-ease that you, you may think that may be permanent, you're going through certain shit, receiving it probably the worst out of everybody else, being 144,000. 
you're probably receiving this shit worse than everybody else. So I just have some recommendations. Uh, I'm not a doctor, nor am I someone who can give advice on anything. This is for entertainment purposes only. So uh, water, drinking water. Water is a filtration uh, device. It's a tool for you to filter out any energies. I know it's probably hard to believe being that everybody drinks water and it's just so mundane, but water is a spiritual tool that you can program to do whatever you want it to do. So if you feel in some type of way, program your water that you're drinking with uh, how you want to feel. So if you want some happiness in your life, program your water to uh, be happy water. So, hey, this uh, how I normally do it is rub my hands together till I get some warmth. And then I put my hands on the outside of my cup of water. And then I might either speak what I want to the water. So I'll say the things that I want to hear. So uh, loving water, you, you're you so great. You're so happy, abundant, beautiful water. And you do that for, you know, however long you feel to you would take for this water to and be infused with that energy that you're giving it. And then drink the water. Now, the amount of water I would say do what, you know, typical typical earth doctors would say to drink eight glasses of water or uh, two liters of water or a liter of water, at least. If you if you don't want to just gorge on a shit ton of water, I would recommend drinking between a liter to two liters of water every day. Because right now, receiving this information, these light codes, is uh, basically like putting your body through a major healing... Like, I've been getting the card, uh, as the card that I've been getting the most is the Hangman in Tarot. And the Hangman is healing. It's, it's basically universal healing. So, like, I, that's why I'm saying, like, I had to deliver this message. Because I'm just, like, mundanely doing tarot and, uh, you know, just doing card readings and, you know, talking to the universe. Talking to God, Yah, Hawa. You know, whatever name that you choose to use for high power. So, just mundanely having this conversation with myself, realizing, okay, I am going through a healing process, but it's not just me. It's not personal to myself. You know, this is the 144,000 are removing the code, the old serpent code from our our timeline and uh, the unions, the the uh, spiritual unions that are taking place are happening because I'm realizing it among, between myself and somebody that I really, really care about. I'm realizing that this is happening. Just th those type of not knowing and now it's all of a sudden like a knowing. Like, okay, this is, this shit is bigger than me type feeling like I'm not doing this because of how I feel this shit is bigger than me I'm people seeing me is going to change going to beat the opposition doing doing these particular things but see it, for me I've always had this thought of what I'm doing is gonna is gonna end the opposition because what I'm doing is creating someone who the world should aspire to look up to and uh, lead on a level of doing things through my actions. My actions are what's healing you subconsciously and unconsciously, not me speaking. I'm only speaking because this is a form of teaching. And I want to make sure that if I'm receiving this information, that those who take the time out to look for this information, can find it on any platform. See, every platform has their teacher. I'm the teacher of this platform. I haven't seen anybody else on here. If there is, please reach out to me so that we can communicate and build up, build up together a foundation on this platform so that people can have a place of refuge on here as well. Because... 
This is, I think this is a great idea. There's already people on everything, but I haven't seen no people come on Twitch talking about shit like this. So if you out here and you on your spiritual journey and you, you trying to raise awareness on this platform, please holla at your boy, shoelovesrebels.com. I'm, I'm probably start putting my phone number on there today so that people can reach out to me. Shoot me a text because I normally don't pick up my phone if somebody is calling me and I don't. I don't recognize the number. I'm sorry. I know I have my uh, phone number already on Facebook, and I'm sure people calling me from there. Just shoot me a text, y'all, please. So, as we are saying, shit probably might get a little little shaky for a little bit. Uh, I know I've been releasing a lot of mucus. I've been releasing, uh, I've been, like, my body has been getting stocked up. Now, I normally use the bathroom a lot in the daytime. Like, when I first wake up, I use the bathroom a few times. Before, within an hour, I might use a bathroom like three times. But now, it seems as if, uh, like, my body is, like, getting stocked up. So, I have to make an effort to stay hydrated so that my body can remove all the waste that's that's coming in. and Or that's already within that sh- should have been removed. So, uh, another way that you can remove some energy from your body that is being dispelled. It's sweating. Work out, y'all. Sweat. Sweat a lot. The more you sweat, the more you're releasing old timelines from your body because sweating is also, when you drink the water and you sweat, That's you're literally seeing the filtration process happening. So drink water, sweat, castor oil. Now what you can do is put castor oil on a paper towel and put it, just put it on your kidneys or your liver and just let them sit for a while and... Don't have like the shit just dripping with castor oil. Just enough like a, a to where it's soaked and that's it. Like the the entire paper towel has uh, castor oil on it and that's it. You don't it doesn't have to be dripping with castor oil. And just put them on certain spots like pancreas area. Put it on the front of your stomach. You can put it on your back where your kidneys are, and just let them sit so that it can pull out. This is what I call oil pulling, and it just pulls out. And loosens up the bile. And while you're drinking water, you could be possibly taking oil of oregano. Oil of oregano kills bacteria in your stomach. And reintroduce new bacteria into your stomach. Uh, Ginger. Uh, Garlic is a good medicine. But if you're not adept with garlic, I don't recommend even eating garlic during this whole time. Like just, I would just say refrain from eating garlic altogether. Because... It's a very strong medicine, and people honestly shouldn't even be eating garlic as a, a, a meal. But, you know, like I said, I'm not professional. So, you can take this information and fucking throw it to a wall, see what sticks. But, yeah, we're, we are, we as the 144,000 are going through an ascension process. And I'm not trying to create a separatist movement here. All I'm saying is that there are people who came, returned with a particular uh mission to be here during this particular time to help the the people that are coming up which is why I'm even on Twitch because I know the younger generation watches Twitch my cousin watches Twitch he's a he's a teenager my little cousin watches Twitch he's uh like 10 or 11 you know what I'm saying pretty much preteen younger people watch Twitch so I'm going to get on here and I'm going to do what I got to do to get this information out if I got to stream games and talk about this shit. If I gotta make beats and talk about this shit. If I gotta play music, if I whatever the fuck, if I gotta talk about what's going on in the world as far as pop culture and also sprinkle this shit on top of it, then that's just what I gotta do. Because this is important, okay? So I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all about this. I'm probably finna get my ass back in the bed and watch some movies and just, you know, forget I, I like to forget this type of shit even happened. Because this is what happens during an awakening process. You start to have those moments where, okay, I'm aligning with Source in a way that, you know, this shit is kind of trippy. So this is like, you know, a little mini church session, a little preaching session from your boy, Lord Shoe X. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching the stream today. I love y'all. Please, y'all, take care of yourselves. Take care of your body. Make sure you're doing your spiritual keys every day, which, you know, if you got to wake up, do your prayer, or you waking up, Burning the incense, you meditate, and whatever whatever you do that spiritually helps you out, make sure y'all do that today. 
But like I said, we moving into a new paradigm, y'all. The way that you used to have to raise your awareness and consciousness, it's, it's about to be easier for the 144,000. So for my people out there who's healers, light workers, open yourself up. I'm scared as fuck, okay? I, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let y'all know on some real shit. I'm scared as fuck. The shit that I'm going through with myself is, like I said, I'm deleting old timelines. So this new version of me is trying to come out and be open and be caring and loving and mothering to people. And the shit is freaking me out because y'all know how. If, if anybody who knows who I, how, how I've been most of my life, y'all should know. I'm like, I'm macho man Randy Savage like all the time. So all that like beauty and softness like trying to work that into my my masculine energy it's it's already you know my shit is already alien so that balancing that's happening for everybody it might be going more towards one side like for me it's going more towards uh feminine energy and i've been going through this ascension process for going on two years now so this shit is this is like intense for me just uh Going from being somebody who represents stability and taking that and adding beauty and softness and uh, self care, shit like that. Cause you know, I'm, man, I was the type of dude, get up, go to work, come home, go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't worried about no fucking self care. I wasn't worried about taking care of myself, drinking water at that. Like, I'm pretty sure I went three years drinking alcohol over water. And I'm the type of fool, I don't drink water. When I have hangovers, which is why I don't drink no more. <laughs> I'm the type of dude, I don't drink water when I have hangovers. I drink some Gatorade. Or I drink some juice or some wild ass shit. And then go work a 12 hour shift. Or work a double. Starting from 7 in the morning to fucking midnight. And then going home and just drinking a shit ton of alcohol. And then going to sleep for like 2 hours. And then doing the same shit again. 7 days a week. Like... I don't even know. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know. But everybody grows. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I always say this. I'm a living testament of growth. Seeing me going through my personal process. But we don't have to do what the world expects us to do anymore. Because we have been given a new path to follow to create abundance. To create stability, a foundation. We've been given that new. But you got you to gotta, uh, sit with yourself. Okay. Talk to yourself. Really, really go deep and feel what you want. Feel, imagine what you want. Because right now, as we do that, the process of us creating that isn't built from doing hard manual labor. We can do this thing solely just by believing it and seeing it within our third eye. So that's all I got for y'all today. Not going to go super deep anymore into it. Um, like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching the stream. I love everybody on this stream. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay healed. Sending love to you and your family members and the world. I'm Lord Shuex. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. I do everything. Okay. <laughs> I do everything. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, truelovesrebels.com, and you want to get to know me more, that's the place to do it. Or you can just watch my Twitch streams. Please, if you don't have a Twitch, make an account. Subscribe to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you actually can subscribe to my channel for free for a month. So I advise y'all to take advantage of that because... Shit's about to get better as time progresses, and I won't stop. I'll never forgive up. I'll never give up on y'all, but I will forgive y'all <laughs> for not knowing that you can do that with Amazon Prime. So, much love to everybody. I'm out this bitch. Oh, wait. I'm going to play the commercial one more time, though. <laughs> I'm going to play this shit one more time for y'all, man. But I'm out this bitch.
Yeah. Jabronis everywhere I see. I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go. Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316. I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove. Bye-bye. See you later.